welcome back to our channel. We're so glad that you're here and we kind of recorded late last week and then we're recording a little bit early this week. Well, not early, but regular. Regular. Because Kef has a big week in front of her. I do. And we had several people ask us a, a, a bunch, well, several questions. Yes. People who are new to our channel. Yeah. Who are just joining us. And we're so glad you're here. We're so glad. Thank you for finding us. It's yes. wonderful. We had some really nice emails from people who wanted to comment privately and said oh my gosh so many really really nice 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 things we're so lucky and so um we just appreciate all of you and we're so glad that you would spend some time with us each week and if you're new to our channel we're going to tell you just a little just a little bit about us i'll let kept start why me oh okay i can start <laughs> You're uh, more exciting than oh, I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I live a real exciting life. She does. Kef is my daughter. I am. And uh, we um, are uh, live here in Utah. We do. And um, I have I have two other sons. Yeah. And um, I was basically a stay-at-home mom um, uh, until about six years ago. Six or seven, six years ago, probably. That's it? It yeah. feels longer. I know, it does feel longer than that. But anyway, and then I went back to, um, I have my degree in English um, from... Uh, when did you get your degree, Mom? I'm gonna you would have been about... What, like what, 2000 you went, and, You were a junior. Yeah. What was like that? Like 2008 or 2007. Yeah, about 2007, 2008. I had one class. Why is that? Because I got pregnant with my oldest son, and I was sicker than a dog. <laughs> and I was so ill that I couldn't stay in classes. I have to, they, they have a name for it now, hyper da 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 da, glycem less something. She threw up every day. Oh, many, many times a day. Yeah. So anyway, and so I was never able to so finish. So did you drop out like mid-semester? Yes, I did. Oh yeah. my, I can't even yeah. imagine. I did. And so, um, and so then I just, uh, it was ridiculous. So then when I went back to finish my degree, of course I had to take like three classes. It I was think? insane. It was like the three. worst class. <laughs> math. Debbie had to take a math class. You guys, it was awful. It was just awful. But we had this, I had a tutor. She did. And I would go to the tutor. She just had to get a D, you know? <laughs> I did. I just had to get a D. I went to the tutor and then I'd go straight to the test. Oh my gosh, it was so stressful. I can remember feeling the stress. But anyway, um, I got through it, and I think I got a B. I think end. you did great. I think I got a B. But anyway, you guys, that, that I did. I graduated from college then with my English degree, and then I, so I started um, doing, um, I, I, I'm a librarian at an elementary school uh, close to us. Yeah. And um, it has been great. It's been very interesting. The amazing literature that is available now is for kids is phenomenal. It's amazing. And I usually do a little book thing, but we're not in school right now. And so I don't have access to my books. But there are especially, they uh, on Instagram, they have been showing some really good books about diversity. Yes. And excellent and things. And Debbie shared <laughs> some a few episodes back when was it don't you probably, remember yeah probably. was it up for a caldecott or a that one that you shared i don't know i can't remember but anyway that's what i do so i'm off for the summer okay yeah. but it's been weird because of course we shut down our schools All right so i i then went back they had us not coming in at all, but then they had us come back. Right. And I cleared out my library, did a lot of things that needed to be done there. Um, and so, and I and I may go back a couple times during the summer just to get some things done. And I'm also looking for a book for our whole school to read. Last year we did, um, of course now my mind just went blank. Um, oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. But anyway, we I do one remember. book, one community, or one book, one school, and then everybody reads it. And it was the, it was really a good book. It was by Suzanne. So did you guys not ever finish it? No. Oh, 
oh, it was so sad. But anyway, <laughs> and so we're trying. I'm trying to think of another one. Um, I'm thinking of Hello Universes. These are chapter books, but literally the whole school would read it from kindergarten all the way to sixth grade. It's wow. hard. It's to hard. find a good one yeah, for all for, of those ages. That all of them are, is applicable. Yeah. We. I thought about Wonder. You know, Wonder about yeah. the boy with the four. Yeah. But I sort of feel like that's been overdone. Yeah, I agree. So anyway, I'm looking for that right now. Um, so, so if you have suggestions. Yes. Um, Hello Universe was one of them. Um, fish, a fish out of water, maybe is another one. I'm mm. trying to think of a couple. Anyway, um, so anyway, so I, that's what I do. Dave and I are here. Um, we still live in the house that the kids grew up in, and um, uh, Dave goes to work, and and I am, I am just enjoying my summer. But it's been freezing cold. It's been freaking freezing. It's been so cold. It was like 100 degrees, almost yes. 100 on what day was it? I'd say Friday. Or no, it Thursday. Was, was it not Saturday? No, it no. started to rain. Yeah. yeah. So it was about Thursday yeah, or Friday. I remember I was outside yes. weeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was crazy hot, and then it was a 40-degree change. Drop. There was snow on the tops of the mountains. It was crazy. I mean, oh my gosh. I was, I've gone, I'm doing a walking we thing. We had to turn our heater back on in our house. Yeah, I thought about it this morning. I, I go walking every day, and you have to do at least a mile every day. I typically do th two or three. Yeah. But, um, so I had to do a it's mile. It's so cold, you have to yeah, just cut so it to I a mile. Yeah, I just cut it to a mile, and I've been wearing sweatshirts. Wow. It's crazy. So our weather has been really funny. It's been but, crazy. But um, I'm all about crafts. I do all different kinds of crafts. Debbie's a crafter. Um, I love my Cricut Maker. I love to make cards. I love to cross stitch. You love to chalk. I love to chalk. My chalk couture is one of my most favorites. Anyway, so you guys, um, that's a little bit about me. Kefren, what about you? <laughs> well, where do I begin? I uh, graduated high school way back in the day in 2009. Yeah. And I immediately went to the University of Utah and was working on a music degree because I play the harp. Yeah. Don't play it anymore. <laughs> I still play, I have it at my house, but I haven't played it in a long time. I just grabbed the tuner though. Yeah, she's gonna start. I I'm gonna make, start after this it. semester. I'm gonna play the uh -huh. harp again. Anyway, and then a bunch of terrible life things happened, and I just left school, didn't I, Debbie? For a minute, yeah, yeah. And so then, but then, then, then I got a great job. Yeah, that's the real wrench in everything. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I got an amazing job at yeah. a tech company. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. And, um... But then you were still going to school. I... Sort of. For a while, I didn't. No, but then you did. Then I went back to school, and I was still working... So that made it so my college was kind of on the side. Yeah, and you had to drive so far. And I had to drive so far. I changed schools. I realized I didn't want to get a music degree because why do I need a music degree if I'm going to like, what am I going to do, teach harp the rest of my life? Well, we thought maybe she might. I was. <laughs> but I'm like, no, I'm going to be like a business person. Yes. Well, and getting the job kind of did that yeah. too. Yeah. And so I changed my degree and change schools change schools I know. I know. and got an even better job and got, got, ma got married oh the thing oh. like what the heck and but my jobs have always been insane yeah they're just really i've worked for people who have way too much money and i just take care of them basically yeah yeah and yeah. you wouldn't believe all the stories that I had. She could tell you stories. We could start and just go on and on. And I worked at someone's house for a while. And it was so fun. And she met lots of interesting people. Lots of crazy people. Honestly, just crazy people. I was like basically their personal home assistant. Yeah. During that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so basically I would take like a class a semester. Because I was traveling so much. And because I was trying to get Steven through, my husband through school. And so that's what I did. And since COVID hit, I was like, oh my God, I, have, I had five classes left when COVID hit. 
and all of BYU went online. So I'm like, okay, now's my chance to finish. Yeah. It was a, a blessing in disguise. I know that's bad to say, but it was for me. And so I signed up for all my classes and I'm going to graduate now. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. It really is. So we're, we're ending the ten of almost 11 years after I graduated high school. So, so we, we're, you're going to do, you're finishing three right now. Yep. Then in the next week, you guys, and then, and then I have two, two more. left and one of them is kind of a, one like, of them is just like write a paper. It's yeah. called like a capstone. Yeah. So you've got to do that. And then, and then another one. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're so, working with. And I'm trying to do it before I have a baby because Debbie's such a good example to me. If I went back after and babies. And she went back after babies. I'm like, I've just got to do it. You well, know? And, and she's so close. She really is. Yeah. So, so and like, when, when else am I going to want to do this? I'm never going to want to finish this again. And it is harder after you have kids. I feel like this is better. So, so here I am. And, and it's hard because she has such a good job. Yeah. So, so it's now hard. I don't work as a personal assistant in a home anymore. I'm now an uh, executive assistant for a CEO of a big company here in Utah. Yeah, and so it's hard to be motivated when you have such a good job already. Yeah. To know why your degree, but you know, it's always good to have a degree. It's always good to have a degree. In case something happens yeah. in your life. So, so that uh, you're going so to school. So it's hard because I'm really busy, but I'm working from home right now because of COVID. And so it's just been a good thing. Yeah. So, so it's crazy because she's working full time. Yes. Really going to school full time. Yes. And it's been, it's been kind of hard. And I'm pregnant. And she's pregnant. And she's going to have a baby in September. It's very disturbing. No! Can't break. She says that all the time. It's so <laughs> funny. Tell him about how you were sitting last night and your, your shirt was... Oh, my gosh. I was sitting there watching the most terrible show I've ever seen. Dave wanted to watch it, and I, I can't believe... Anyway, anyway, it was just... It was quite... Well, it was it, so it, sad. It's a good life lesson. It I is, don't know. Okay, so anyway, you're sitting there. It was the whole time I'm like, I don't think I like this movie. And then the last like 20 minutes happened oh. and I'm like, okay, I love this movie. <laughs> but I'll never watch it again. No, I'll never watch it again. It was it, about time. Uh -huh, it's called About Time. And, and it really is a good life lesson. It is. It is. It's a good life lesson. But anyway, you're sitting it's there. It's on Netflix, everyone. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sitting there, and it's, my shirt was like, I was by myself eating popcorn. Steven was gone. And my shirt was like folded up on my stomach, and it was like kind of like poking up. Okay. And all of a sudden, my shirt moved. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like the first, I was like, oh my, it was it like kind of startled me. Yeah, that's funny. So that was like the biggest movement the baby has made. Yeah, I mean, she can feel it inside. I can feel it inside, but it's hard because my placenta's up front, so I can't really feel it like most people can. On the outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. It acts as like a cushion, basically. Yeah, and so there's not as much. Like, most people feel the baby way earlier than I have, which is so annoying. Yeah, yeah. But, um. But that was funny. It was really funny. That really is funny. Having a baby boy. Yeah, yeah. And we she, think we've decided on a name. But we'll tell you later. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we're working on the nursery. We're working on the nursery. Yeah. So anyway, and, and they have other things that they're doing that are just, it's just kind of a crazy life. So It's just a wild adventure, you It guys. really is. It really is. So that's a little bit about us. That, and some of all, Is that a, lot a good of, snapshot of us? Yeah. I think a lot of you know us, so we don't, I don't know, we don't want to spend. We don't, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so, but for those of you who don't, that's just a Here quick, we are. Here we are. Yeah. Okay. Um, last week we talked about these on my shelf. Yes, we did. That were um, on the, your tiered tray. My tiered tray, not a shelf. What was I thinking? On my tiered tray. Okay. And I feel really bad. The lady that made them is the sawdust makery on Instagram. She is really good. She, she puts out stuff every season. She has a lot of stuff. And she does a real, she is really a professional. She cuts, I don't know, I just bought something very simple, but she does really complex things. The Sawdust Makery. On I, Instagram. Yeah, and I believe she's out of Washington. But she like. But her sister's here in Cash Valley. Yeah, her sister, Simply Eileen, yeah. is in Cash Valley. And she does crocheting things. And she sells them on Etsy. 
um, as does as does her sister. So they're just a real talented family. But the stuff that, that she makes is amazing. She's already started her Christmas. Whoa. Yeah, she's already started cutting. Is it cute? Well, you know, it isn't. It, we don't know what it's going to be. All we've seen is the wood being cut. Oh. She does a really good job. I'll have to look. Yeah. So she's, she's a, which leads us into that we need to start the Christmas stocking for we the do. baby. We do. I make Christmas There's stockings. There's so many things. We're not going to worry about it, though. I, I make Christmas stockings because my mother made Christmas stockings out of felt. It's and the so, best tradition, honestly. And so I keep that up. And I see all these new people. I have to say this to you. I see all of these influencers on oh, Instagram, okay? okay? And I just have to laugh because I look at their Christmas and they have these generic. I know, like from Pottery Barn or yes, something. But they're or just Target or white. Yes, yeah, just white stockings. No name on them. Nothing. And I'm how do you know who's who? I just am fascinated by it because it's more of a decoration than it is a tradition. Yes. Or a, I, it kills me. And that's probably the majority of everyone. Yes. But a lot of people, I think, have things from their youth. That Do they? Trying. Well, I don't know. I don't I, think I thought so. they did. But anyway, I've been watching these other I people. I mean, Steven doesn't. Oh, what did they use, Kev? They don't really do stockings. Oh, okay, okay. But they never did? I don't know. Anyway, okay. It's very strange. Okay. So anyway, so I, we, Kevin's going to help me. We've got to get going. are a big thing in our yeah, family. Yeah, it's a big deal. And I do the felt ones. I would love to have done like needlepoint ones or something like that. But, but mom start, my mother started it. Yeah. And we're keeping I it. I love them. Yeah. The they, felt ones. They mean the world to me. They are very nostalgic. Very okay. nostalgic. So anyway, so we've got to get started on that. And if you know anything about Debbie, she loves anything felt. I love felt. <laughs> I do. I love felt. The weirdest oh, thing. I don't know what it is. It's just, it I don't It takes know. you back. It takes me back. So anyway, so we need to talk about that, that we're going to get started on the stocking. The other thing that we need to talk about is that uh, we got some stitchy kindness in the mail. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're dead. And I'm just going to show you the box. Yeah. We had no idea. Zero idea it was coming. And we got it. Two days ago, I want yeah. to say. And Debbie was dead on the floor. She called me. I said, oh my gosh, we got this box. It is just filled with treasures. And there was no note in it. We yeah. were like, what the hecking heck? We couldn't figure out what was happening, but it she just... She just emailed us. Uh, she just emailed us, and we just saw the email. And so we're just going to say her first name. We didn't know if she wanted to remain yeah. anonymous, but Diane... We are... Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Darling things. Really. Oh my God. We're going to go through some of them. Yeah. And we will have some as giveaways. Yeah. And then we think we might some, save some for the retreat if yeah. we just, if that yeah. goes through. Okay. So. Which is that a good segue into yes. the retreat? So let's just thank Diane. Diane. Thank you. Thank you. We can't it, even believe honestly, it. Honestly, I've never seen. Some of the patterns were so cute. I want to even do them. Yeah, I've never seen a lot of them. I just am always marveling. I know. That I've never seen these. Yes. Anyway, but they're darling and we appreciate it. There were some things with, uh, uh, they were kits. There was, uh, anyway, so thank you, thank Couldn't you. Couldn't even thank believe you. it. So that was really fun, happy mail to get. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay, so that leads us into in October, yeah. it was our thought and desire to have Stitch West. Yes. Um, again, this will be our second retreat. And and we feel good about it. Um, but the problem is, is that we just don't know with where the country stands as far as the COVID and the pandemic. Okay. Yeah. Our, our thought is, you know, is that we would, would hold it. Right now we're thinking, why not? But what Cash Valley... They've gone back down. Did you know that? No. Yeah, because they've had so many cases. I know. So we we are curious, and we understand that some of you might be concerned to come, and we totally yeah. get that. And probably ha have signed up for it, but probably won't come until next year. And so we don't really want to take your money until we have a real good idea of whether we're right. going to honestly go through with it in October. Yeah. It would start the 22nd of October. Yes. And so, it's in downtown Salt Lake. Yeah, it's going to be in downtown Salt Lake this year. And um, we we will only do it if we have like 100 people. Yeah. Uh, th that's the only way we can afford it. Yeah. But um, so if we had less than that, we wouldn't have it. Right. Okay, and so a lot of you have signed up, and we still have the sign-up list. That's yeah. great. But we're just going to ask you to just informally, we're going to do a poll. 
and 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 either on Instagram yep. or on this this video. Well, you can comment below and let us know if you're interested still. If you think that you would still want to come. Yeah, but we're also going to do a poll on Instagram if you don't want to comment down below because a lot of people don't. Yeah. We're going to do a poll on Instagram. I'll put it up starting tomorrow. Okay. And it'll be on Instagram stories for um, 24 hours. Okay. Can Does we that do, work? Can we do it longer than no. that? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, okay. We, we can, can also post a picture. Okay. We might do that too. Okay. So somewhere there will be something yeah. that you can comment. And again, we totally understand that things may change. Yeah. I mean, and like, you know. Maybe in October there's going to be another resurgence. Of, and maybe it's bad. And so then we would obviously, obviously cancel. We cancel. But like at that point it's like, oh, do we refund everyone their money or. Or do we do what StitchCon did and, and just say. just keep everyone's money for next year. For the next year. Because and, at that point we'll have already put things probably spent money on things yeah yeah so it's just kind of a it's hard, hard it's a hard but we to, want to do it yeah like we i feel think, we feel good about it yeah we feel fine and again salt lake is pretty open right now yeah um, we never really went into a full lockdown yeah we were to. we were pretty we've been a, a real low state yeah. um so you know but then a, a lady did comment once um, to me that she was concerned that if we were the you know, we bring people in Yeah, you know, so so we don't we just there's always a risk there is there at this point, you know So see we just are curious what you guys think we're very curious and then we'll go from there. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I, I want them to I want you to tell them what you're craving. Oh, yes, and um, Do you want me to tell them about our? Um, our s'mores? Yes, after we do that. First tell them what you're craving and okay. then we'll do the s'more. <laughs> so my only craving this pregnancy, honestly, I've had the easiest pregnancy. I feel guilty almost. It's crazy. I really questioned if you were pregnant. I really did. I it's was really like, bad. Because she's just been so good. But I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. She would not. I feel guilty. No, no, no. No, don't feel guilty. You don't want, she wouldn't have wanted, she couldn't have, well, it was. Just, it would have been, if I had been throwing up all the time, can you imagine me? I'm such a drama queen. It would have been the end of the world. Anyway, so it's wonderful. God Thank was you. looking down That's on right. us. That's right. It is a blessing. It is a <laughs> and blessing. And I would have been like, oh, I'm on my deathbed every day. Okay. Tell them what, but so tell them what you're craving. My only craving is uh, lemon. Yeah, it's so great. I love it. But it's not like a healthy lemon. <laughs> it's like all the unhealthy lemon things. Yes. So like at gas stations in Utah, which a lot of people hadn't even heard of. They hadn't. I was. I thought that was interesting. The frazzles. The frazzles. Yeah. They're only at gas stations here in Utah. <laughs> this is they a are high... like around the world. Or they're around America. But I think they're stationed here in Utah. Have you seen them in California? I don't they... know. Okay. Anyway, it's a lemon frazzle. They have tons of different flavors. Yeah. The only yeah. good one is lemon. The blueberry one, or the blue rasmataz is pretty good too. Okay. But the lemon is the best. It's like a old Thelma's. Oh, and I, not, not, not people didn't know what Thelma's either. People didn't know a Thelma's. Thelma's was a frozen slushy. Yeah. It's not like a slush. It's like no, a, yeah. it's not like those foam things at 7-Eleven. Those are it's disgusting. It's not, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's like icy. Yeah. It's icy like a, more like a drink. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I found on YouTube and I'll link it down below this lady who she has like a lot of subscribers. She doesn't have like a food network thing, but she has like over a million subscribers wow. on wow. YouTube. Wow. Okay. Okay. She posted three lemon drinks. Okay. Slushes. Okay. And they look freaking amazing. Okay. And she did it from scratch. Like she squoze, squoze the lemons. She made her own syrup. That's amazing. And then you put in um, some coconut, uh, well, milk. coconut milk. Frozen, uh, frozen. She did three different ones. One was like a strawberry one. One was like a pineapple one. Oh, they sound so good right now as I'm talking okay, about it. The, the fruit was frozen though. Fruit was frozen, I believe. And, um, ice. And you guys, they look so amazing. Mm, they I'm, do I, sound good. I'm going to make them. Okay. But Rachel Parcell, who I follow on Instagram, she's from Utah. She also just made one where she just poured like oh, simply, simply lemonade yeah. that you buy at the store. Yeah. And then she did frozen berries 
and ice, and she made like her own concoction, and that looked amazing too. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to the store after this. I should have gotten you some Simply Lemon while I was there. I know. That would have been good. And also, you want to say who makes this and delicious? And so, Janice, I know you're watching because you've been watching all of these. My amazing grandma. Stephen's From grandma. Stephen's side. Yes. But she's my grandma too now. Yes, yes. Um, she made, she, you guys, she made the most amazing lemon meringue pie I've ever had in my whole life. And you're not a meringue fan. I'm not a meringue fan. I love meringue. It was homemade from, the crust was amazing. Wow. And I need to sit down with her and watch yeah, her make it. You do. You it do. It was so good. Yeah. Yeah. I so. could have eaten the whole pie. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, my grandmother used to make an amazing lemon meringue pie, too. Mom, oh. why didn't you take notes? I was, she died, I was too, I was too young. I didn't, you know. So my I, mouth is watering as we're talking ah! about it. Anyway, so though I, I will now tell them about the s'more cookie. But we also made a s'mores um, cookie bar recipe a few days ago in our Traeger, which is a smoker, if you guys know what that is. It was so good. It looked amazing. I was way impressed. So was it like flour, sugar, like the a It was basically base. like a cookie base, and then you put in marshmallows and chocolate chips. And the only chocolate chips all of you should be buying is guitar chocolate chips. Okay. I don't know if Harmon sells, they must. Yes, they do, they do, yeah, yeah. Smith's does not. Oh, maybe they maybe they sell Ghirardelli. I don't they know. Don't, Smith's only sells Ghirardelli. Oh, I, I have to go to Dick's or Lee's or. Oh, to get those. To okay. get guitar. Okay. They're the best on the planet. Okay. Oh okay. my gosh. It looked amazing. Anyway, I'll put, I'll post the recipe in our uh, Facebook group. Oh, Because okay. we put the other one in our face. What, yes. what did we talk about last week? Oh, the dump cake. The dump cake, which, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was good. Oh. These are all the things that we needed to talk to you about to get caught up, right? Yes. Okay, all right. Now we're going to move on now to... Now we're all starving. I know I am. I'm starving. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Anyway, we are going to talk about cross-stitch. Can you believe it? Wow. Okay, all right. We have so much to say. Okay, so you guys, I worked on... Is this... Is that... Oh, it was threaded. Oh, it was threaded. Oh, oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. All right. We're working on the Judith Kirby. I'm back to Judith Kirby to the um, Halloween. It is so cute. I'm really, I'm thrilled to pieces. I am fascinated by this. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You guys, this is, I got the witch done. The but it looks thicker, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, it is. Is it, it is. thicker? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Is. Yeah. So it's three, it's two skeins of a DMC gray and one skein of black. She's talking about the witch. The witch. And I, I, I just don't know how I feel about it. And yet I do like the look of it. Um, but so that's three, three, uh, you know, a little flosses there instead of just the two is what you typically use. Okay. okay. But that's what I got done. And then if you want to show them this, the back of it, you can see the two together. So the house in the first one is done. And now I'm kind of moving over just cause my Q snaps are where right. they are. I'll, now I'll, mom, remind us where the, uh, where you bought it from. Uh, I bought it. It was it in Michigan, Michigan, but what was it called? I shouldn't have asked. Oh, was it on the, is it on the back of that one, Kef? Look and see. That one is, they have the rights to all of the Judith Kirby designs. Stitch in time. Yep, stitch in time. That's it. And she has all of them. She did a ton Halloween of. Halloween house. She does a ton of, Vic, Judith Kirby did lots of Victorian kind of San Francisco houses. Oh. So that's the one that I worked on. I, I got, I was able to work on that. I finished, all of you people, I finished. August. <gasps> and okay. we were told last week that that is not in fact a bench. It's a pier. <laughs> but it, or should we call no, it a dock? A dock. It might be a dock. So I finished August, which I'm thrilled Mom, about. Mom, it is so cute. Isn't it cute? And I will mount it myself. I will not frame it. And I'll let it, uh, it will go on that, the, the house that I got for, from Walmart. Oh yeah, that's okay. Cute. I have September done, and now I have August, and I have July. But July it just screams Debbie. I, I I loved doing it. I really enjoyed it. Okay, and then the positivity cell. Last night I finished the um 
Oh, yeah. A the bunch first, of people are doing it. The Two first, people posted on our Facebook page that they were. Oh, fun. I, I have loved every stitch of this. It's so cute. It's, the colors are vibrant. It is fun to stitch. It's easy to stitch. And um, you can still get, you could get the kit. Yeah. But it's going to take a minute to get to you because it's coming from England. Or I think you can get just the PDF because I saw someone was doing it on a Sparkle Ada cap. I saw that was on our Facebook page. Okay, it was cute. So it was cute. It, 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 this is um, my, my caterpillar cross stitch. Yeah. Positivity rules. Yeah. And I am loving it. So that's the stitching that I I, I got quite a bit done considering we didn't film till Thursday. Right? I know. Yeah. So we, uh, we got quite a bit of stitching done, and I'm hoping to get more done this week. Yes. I, I will work on that, and I'm going to go back to the Rovaris. And okay. um, there were several. Teresa Kogut came out oh, with an amazing. Oh, I'm going to show it on oh, your phone. Oh, okay. There's my phone. She came out with an amazing. Um, a new stitch that was, was it, did it say Liberty? No. I'm pulling it up. Okay. Teresa. It was the it is it was brand new. I it's thought so cute, really really cute. And it's, now it's not loading. Well, I'm honest to Pete. It's patriotic. You need a new phone. I've decided. It's patriotic. It's patriotic. It's so cute. It's called okay. Blah 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 blah. Um. What the heck? Here it is. Quite a few people have posted it. I've, I've United noticed. We Stand. Isn't it That's the cutest it. thing? United We Stand. I thought that was really, really cute. We love it, Teresa. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Um, I wonder if it's if you can just click the link in her bio for it. Don't know. I don't know. Wait a second. Is Punch Needle different than yes. Diamond? Yes. Yes. Punch Needle is done with a needle. And you 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 go rapidly in and out of the fabric. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. It's, uh, yeah. We'll do you have think to, I'd like it? I do. Is it kind of similar to diamond? And no, diamond? no. I know it's not similar, but like it's the satisfying effect. Yes, I think so. And it's done rapidly. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So you know. Anyway. Okay, so that was interesting. That's on Teresa's page. I'm on her Etsy store to see if it's on there, but I can't find it fast enough. Boom! There it is. Ten dollars on her Etsy, on in, in Teresa's Etsy in store. In Teresa's Etsy store, okay. and it's so cute. Okay. Okay. So that's Teresa. Is it a PDF download? Did you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, uh, 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 someone sent. Wow, why is yours so different than mine? Where is it, Mom? What What are you looking for now? Okay, there's this cute thing that someone sent us from Stitch Rovia that screams Debbie, doesn't it, you guys? It's And I've never seen it before, but look at that beach. Isn't, Isn't that cute? Isn't it cute? It's really And you cute. said it was in Cross Stitch Mag? It says it's in the Cross Stitch. Issue 359. Yeah. Cross Stitcher Magazine. And it looks like you can also get that on like the computer instead of like buying oh, that's the, good. the actual magazine. <gasps> it is so cute. It's a really cute one. I'm glad whoever sent that. Thank you. Yes, it was Cindy, Cindy. Barnes. Yes, Cindy. I, I it's really cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt that down. And that's, then Marcy is the one that asked about the stackables. And that's yeah, and that's the sawdust maker. And I think that's that. Okay, I think we've answered all the questions. And then, do you want? Do we want to show some of those, or are we going to show them next week? Next week. Next yeah. week. Okay. But anyway, you guys, thank you for 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 spending some time with us. Um, it's always an honor and privilege. Yep. Yeah, Kef has this week. She has her final tests. My final tests are. So this is my last week of class. Yeah. We might not film until late next week. Yeah. Unless we just... film on like Sunday. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Because my finals are Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Oh. 
So I don't know. We'll have to see what. It's going to be a wild week ahead of me. Yeah. So, but but we're there. We we're, but at we're, least I'll have some lemonade to keep me company. That's right. That's right. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's happening next week. So if you don't see us, yes. or see us at an odd time, that's why. Yes. Okay. You guys have a great week. Have I a hope fabulous you, week. We hope you're all healthy and doing well. We're thinking and of you. We are, and we love you all. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.